YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Today we're doing a little video. I want to show you what uh, 50 cent bread machine bread looks like. This is something I just cooked up in the bread machine. In fact, let me take out a little paddle. Ooh, just like clean the fish. <laughs> uh, this bread costs about, I add everything up, about 50 cents to make. The main thing is you want to use really good yeast. I use SAF instant yeast. Use bread machine flour. I'll give a recipe down the bottom. I did add about a quarter piece of uh, onion and a little parsley flakes. This won't be bread I'm going to be eating pe peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with, but, e but everything else I use, it'll be perfect for it. Like I said, when you're done, 50 cents. Also, bread machines right now and the thrift stores, about every thrift store in town, they're one day a week, they give stuff half price on one day a week. You go in there, you can buy your bread machines, three to five dollars a piece. Brand, I'm almost brand new, some of them. And some of these bread machines, you can resell them on eBay for quite a lot of money, too. But let's get back to the bread. This is what your 50 cent bread is going to look like. Guys, here's the ingredients or the recipe for making one loaf in, in just about any bread bread maker. I used uh, two tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of yeast, the one cup of warm water at 110 degrees Fahrenheit, three cups of flour. I used bread flour. One and a half tablespoons of oil. I use canola oil. One teaspoon of salt. I add the water, sugar, and yeast into the bread mixer, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I add the remainder of the ingredients. And that makes a pretty good loaf of white bread, just about any bread mixer I've used. Here's how I arrived at my price of, of 50 cents for my bread. I used the canola oil, one and a half quarts, it costs two ninety eight. It works out to about uh, 4.7 cents for one and a half tablespoon. I used the bread flour. Uh, I got it on sale, five pound bag for 2.49, and it works out for three cups about 40.8 cents. The sugar was a five pound bag for 2.98. It works out to 3.2 cents for two tablespoon, and the salt is under a penny, so it works out to 49.7 cents per loaf. And the bread mixer I bought for three bucks at the store. So if you add depreciation in for the bread mixer, <laughs> it's still going to be pretty low. Um, I think this is a pretty good bargain, guys. Uh, if you ever want to make up your mind about making your own bread in the bread maker, it makes pretty decent bread. And you can experiment and add a lot of different uh, things to it, too. Like I said, in this particular loaf I showed you, I add some onion and parsley and made a nice flavorful piece of uh, bread for, for uh, sandwiches. I hope you like my videos, guys. I add new videos every week. And like I said, check out those thrift stores. You can find some pretty good bread makers that are actually quite expensive on eBay, and you could resell them for some, some good money. Thanks, everybody.